Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And 
St. Our Church is named after St. Peter. I, I rather love this, this carving or this sculpture um, because it has two things that it tells us about St. Peter. He's holding the keys, the keys to the kingdom of God. So he's pretty important, isn't he? And God has given him the keys to the kingdom. But also there's the cockerel there, which reminds us that he was not just a super perfect person. He made some mistakes. He made some big mistakes. He even betrayed Jesus. And so we're reminded that Peter is a great man, but he's also a fragile and vulnerable and ordinary human being, like all of us. The other thing we heard today in our gospel reading is Jesus says to Peter, you are Peter. Now the word Peter means rock. He says, you are Peter and on this rock I will build my church. It's a bit too hard to carry as well. So instead I've got some marbles. But you know what? Father Hughes lost his marbles. <laughs> So, I wonder if we can see, does anyone know where my marbles might have got to? Oh, Peter, dear Peter Bryce, he always helps us out in these children's talks. Thank you, Peter. Bless you. There's my marbles. I knew I hadn't lost them. Now, these are a, a little like our rocks or our stones. And would you each like to take one? They're actually prayer stones or prayer marbles. So if you'd like to take one. And then what I'd like you to do is just to hold it. Hold it in your hand. And then close your eyes. And let's use this to focus our thoughts and our energies and our prayers. As we think of the rock man, Peter who was a rock, who was in all his frailty and humanness, he formed the foundation of the Church Universal and of this Church of St. Peter's. God of grace, you chose your servant Peter to be the rock on which the Church was built. We give thanks for the Church across the ages. In our own age, we pray for a church open and receptive to your spirit. We pray for Father Daniel and Peter visiting us today and for the Congregation of Christ Church of Florence. We pray for Bishop John and Anne as they prepare to move to Brisbane. Fill them and us with your Holy Spirit that we, like Peter, may find courage to proclaim the Gospel. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. God of grace, you chose your servant Peter to follow the Messiah and go into the world to proclaim a gospel of peace. We pray for peace in your world today and liberation from fear and oppression. We especially bring before you all places where violence and war have scarred the hearts of innocent victims. Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq, South Sudan and West Papua. We pray for refugees and asylum seekers here in Australia and throughout the world. We pray for the victims of the shooting in Charleston and other tragedies. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of grace, you chose your servant Peter to proclaim the gospel of hope. We pray for the equal rights of gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender and intersex people in both church and society. We pray for reconciliation in our nation with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. We pray for our parish mission and for Bishop Stephen Cottrell as he prepares to be with us. Come, Holy Spirit. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Sacrifice of praise and by the power of your word and Holy Spirit. 
sanctify this bread and wine, that we who share in this holy sacrament may be partakers of Christ's body and blood. When his hour had come, on the night before he went up to the cross, took bread, gave you thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. same way, after supper, he took the cup, he gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink all this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of them.
place away the sin of the world 